we got really good content uh, uh, for our audience today. Um, before we wrap up uh, today's con uh, conversation, I want to ask you this question. Uh, do you want to give us a list of top three tips uh, or the advice that uh, for our retailers uh, who are implementing BOPIS uh, in you know this year? I, th I think I, I would focus, first of all, on, on developing BOPIS as a real integral part of your store, of your business. Um, and I've certainly seen a lot here in Canada where, where especially small businesses were adapting to uh, some form of BOPIS uh, and forced to do that during the COVID lockdowns. And so uh, it hasn't been, it hasn't been um, revisited yet. It may still exist. Uh, but it's certainly not a priority in anyone's eyes or minds. And it, in other words, it hasn't got better. And so I think um, it's something that really needs to get better. And if I could tail on one thing that I mentioned at the beginning of this interview uh, was really understanding who those customers are. Uh, let's understand that if we don't improve BOPIS, then really who we are hurting uh, over time is some of our regular uh, dearest customers. And, uh, and, and so, you know, it's, it's a service that they want to take part in once in a while, even, uh, or maybe, you know, one out of every four visits to the store will be a BOPIS visit. Uh, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So we need to embrace it and figure it out. Uh, I also think, and again, we're covering such an umbrella of retail here that, um, you know, some stores are not going to be able to afford to have designated staff for BOPIS and that's completely fine, but certainly at the time of year when it's the busiest, uh, again, when the store is busy, the BOPIS is busy. Uh, and the last uh, company I worked for, uh, I made a point of having a, a BOPIS person scheduled uh, a little bit before we opened because, you know, your ability to pick orders when the store is open slows down dramatically because you're also dealing with live customers. Uh, but, um, but, but again, you can accomplish a, a lot in that first hour before you open. Uh, and also during the day, this was the, best, this was the best sales associate to do things like answer the phone. You know, in, in most retailers, it's going to be the regular sales associate on the sales floor who's answering the telephone uh, for those types of basic inquiries. Well, imagine during the day, if you've got a designated BOPIS person who's also answering the phone, their knowledge of what's in stock and their knowledge of, of current inventory and location and so on is going to be fantastic. Uh, so, you know, again, having, having a program in place, at least seasonally, that a, a BOPIS person is designated on the schedule not necessarily something I would leave to an unexperienced associate at all. In fact, I, I would consider it an honor uh, to, to take on this position, especially during the busy time, because it's going to earn so much trust. Uh, and then the third thing, which is something to be honest, I'm still working on, is finding a way uh, to, to sell and attach to these BOPIS customers when they arrive in the store. Uh, not not to impede the whole point. I mean, usually people are ordering online and picking up in store because they're in a rush. They don't have time to stand in line today. Uh, they've, they've got other plans and they just want to pick up that one item today. And that's great. That's not always the case. So sometimes, you know, a customer's picking up their BOPIS order after work. Uh, they want to make sure they secured it because it was a, a gift or it was a present for someone. So there we are. Uh, oftentimes, when you walk into a retail store, you find the BOPIS counter is somewhere isolated. Uh, in certain cases, it's at the back of the store, which defeats the whole purpose. Sometimes it's at the front of the store, which is great, but there's, there's nobody there. There's just not care and attention. Uh, and, and what I'm working on right now is to try to find a way to at least have logical, sensible accessories nearby. And that may not look great from a merchandising perspective, but that would make sense. Uh, you know, if you're buying a toy for your child and the toy requires batteries, uh, but you didn't order that when you placed the BOPIS order, now you're arriving in the store at 5.30 at night. You've just spent the last hour in traffic and you're arriving at the store to pick up the toy and then you take it home for the birthday for the child and there's no batteries. So how do we fix that? You know, sometimes it can be as simple as having a battery rack near the BOPIS counter or something like that. Uh, and it, obviously we can't put every accessory with every product, but certainly the ones that make the most sense. And I think to sum all of this up, Anil, will be the learning of BOPIS customers and even ship from store customers really comes from the customers we already have. They're not that different. Um, 
I had the, the for good fortune 20 years ago of, of one of the first companies I worked for uh, started an e-com website and we were filling filling this from our store. And my first surprise was that all the addresses that I was shipping to uh, were local. These weren't customers that were far away that lived in Northern Ontario or, you know, uh, where we did not have a store. These were customers that could have probably commuted to our store with no problem, but they chose to order online because they were in the mood to do that. So from the very beginning, I had an eye-opening experience to um, embrace this, knowing that these are probably already my customers who are choosing to shop two ways now. When, this, when the store is closed, they have a way to shop the store anyway. And, and I think that's, that's the great part of this. So those would be my three recommendations is really understand your customer. Uh, try to figure out a way to do some sensible attachments and add-ons add -ons to this. Uh, and then build a routine and schedule, even if it's seasonal, um, that uh, covers uh, the ability to pick these orders when it's not busy.